It's a UNC Tar Heel joining me right now on the Firebirds Extra pregame show. Trevor Kelly, the tall right-hander. And first, Trevor, obviously your team this college season went to Omaha, the College World Series. Tell me a little bit about that experience. Uh, for me, it was a dream come true. And uh, I don't know, it's a lot of hard work pays off for our team. Uh, you know, that's the number one goal going to UNC is to make it to uh, Omaha. And, you know, just it wasn't an easy road for sure, especially regionals with FAU that 14 inning game and then tough uh, matchup with South Carolina um, but that made it even better making it to Omaha not having an easy easy road and then uh, getting matched up with uh, NC State and in, uh, in-state rival uh, having probably the best pitcher in the country Carlos wrote on uh, open it open it up against us and you know it we lost that one, but then uh, we knew we'd get back to them and beat them the next time. Uh, and then uh, playing LSU, was, that was a crazy game. Uh, 27,000 people, about 20,000 were LSU fans, so uh, it felt like a away game, and it was awesome. You got here just over a week ago. Kevin Kramer is making his first start for Orleans today. He made it to the top of the College World Series, of course, with UCLA. Did you see him while you were there and kind of say, hey, we're going to be in the Cape together when this is all over? Uh, actually, I didn't. I, I didn't even check the roster here. I, I had no idea. But, yeah, I, I remember looking at him, and uh, he made a great play against us. Uh, probably It actually made uh, number three on top ten that week. Uh, he barehanded uh, play a bunt to third and threw the guy out at first. But, uh, you know, it was, uh, it was a good game for them. I thought uh, that we gave them a battle in the ninth inning. So, Once again, Trevor Kelly, the righty out of UNC, joining me on the pregame show. Trevor, the one thing that sticks out about you on the mound, of course, is your delivery, sidearm, kind of throw the ball and whip it towards the plate. Now that's something you developed during your freshman year. So tell me a little bit about that. How did that come about and when did it start and why did you go to that? Uh, well, last year, or as as a freshman, uh, I wasn't getting in at all. I, halfway through the season, I kind of got discouraged. Like, am I ever going to get in? And will I be back at uh, Chapel Hill the following year for my sophomore year? And, uh, you know, I was kind of getting a little discouraged about not traveling every every week weekend series away, and uh, it just kind of hit me. I went back home, threw to a few batters, and then last last two batters I dropped down sidearm, see how I'd feel, and hit 88. And I was like, all right, I'm sticking there. <laughs> went back to school, showed coach, and they were uh, really impressed by it. And then it kind of took off uh, last summer with. Uh, in the Cal Ripken League with the Baltimore Redbirds and uh, Coach Lopez there, the pitching coach, really started off for me and kind of got me where I needed to be as a sidearm pitcher. And that's where it kind of took off. And then I had a great fall and I had a, I'm satisfied with the season like that I had considering it was like pretty much my freshman year as a sophomore. So, you know, it's, it's a, it's a lot of hard work, but I feel like, I'm one of the best at it, so. Okay. Well, stick with what works, yeah, right? For sure. Obviously, every pitcher here is trying to work on something, whether it be from the mental aspect of the game or a mechanical aspect of their delivery and things like that. What are you specifically trying to work on here on the Cape? Uh, fastball command and uh, changeup. I really want to get that uh, third pitch in there. My slider was really effective during the season, so... Uh, if I get that third pitch as an out pitch to lefties, you know, I, I think I'll be pretty dominant as a sidearm. Of course, there's a number of Duke Blue Devils on this team. Now, we know about the UNC-Duke rivalry. It can get kind of ugly on the basketball court. I know there's not any bad blood on this team, but you guys kind of go back and forth a little bit, Duke and UNC. Uh, well, actually, me and Jordan Betts uh, grew up playing, playing Little League together. He's from the same hometown as I am. And, uh, you know, it's – it's uh, it's pretty cool that we get to play in the, in the Cape Cod League uh, at the same time, same team. So, uh, you know, for baseball, our rivalry is uh, not as big as NC State. Uh, 
I, I don't really have that bad blood for any of them. And, but basketball season, it, it really gets heated up at school. Yeah, you can find him in the stands at Cameron Indoor, disguised in a Duke shirt, pulls it off, and it's a UNC shirt, yeah. right? Yeah. Also, obviously, the UNC program is such a storied program, such a great run, even before you got there. What did it mean to you? to in your first couple of seasons at UNC make a deep run in the postseason and into the College World Series? Well, like I said earlier, it's going to UNC is our main goal is making it to Omaha. Um, but, you know, I've grown up, uh, they made it to the College World Series first time in 06 and 07. And, I mean, that's when I was like, I want to play for UNC. And, uh, you know, I had a – Great uh, sophomore year of high school, and then uh, they contacted me, and you know that's where I kind of fell in love. I was like, I knew I was going there. So, uh, but it's a lot of hard work, and uh, uh, it shows when you make it to Omaha six out of the last eight years. Over the last few games, the bullpen here in Orleans has been terrific. You guys have been on a roll, obviously. You've gotten a couple of appearances. You're now a, an important part of that bullpen. Is it kind of a pride thing to kind of keep this going, the success that that group has been having? Oh, yeah. We're uh, we're all throwing strikes. Kind of, I mean, with wood bats, you kind of just got to throw to contact, not be afraid to give up a hit here and there. But, you know, you're going to beat guys with your fastball here. So, that's uh, pretty much what the bullpen talks about. Like we're watching batters, how they're swinging. If, if they got a slow bat that night, we're definitely definitely going to overpower them with fastballs. And then uh, oh, two counts, you know, throw them a slider in the dirt or off speed in the dirt. So uh, we're on we're on a roll right here, and we'll try and keep that going. One final note before we let you go. Obviously, July fourth today, you had the great parade through Orleans. What you think of it? Was it a good time? Yeah, it was awesome. Uh, I did not expect all that. There was a ton of people out there, and uh, I don't know. That just shows you what kind of town Orleans is. And uh, you know, playing in today's game, Fourth of July, you always hear about Orleans Chatham game. And uh, I don't know. It's a cool experience to be a part of it. Well, as always, Trevor. Thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thank you. That was the UNC righty, Trevor Kelly, here on the Firebirds Extra Pregame Show. Kevin, back to you.